Baby monitors that track infants' vital signs might create more problems than they actually prevent. The emerging class of devices can be found in your baby's clothes. They hook up to the parents' smartphones to give real-time updates of the baby's breathing and heart rate. But a review in the Journal of the American Medical Association says there is no available evidence supporting the safety, accuracy, and effectiveness or role of these monitors. Dr. Tara Narulish explains why they could trigger false alarms. Sounds like a good idea, Tara Narula. And now it's like, whoa. Oh. <laughs> good morning, Gail. Yeah, good morning. Raising a baby can be an anxiety filled time. Parents are often sleep deprived, filled with fear, and questioning their baby's every sound and movement. Experts say these devices may cause undue stress for parents, even leading to unnecessary hospital visits and tests that are ex expensive and potentially harmful. But companies making these devices claim they give parents peace of mind and some parents agree. Seven-month-old Jordan Sell wasn't always the healthy baby he is today. Born six weeks early, his mother Jamie says his oxygen levels kept dropping during his stay in the neonatal intensive care unit. He was hooked up to monitors around the clock. Jordan was released after three weeks. We were concerned that um, not being hooked up to the monitors, we couldn't see his heart rate that we were accustomed to viewing all the time in the hospital. Let's put your sack down. They bought an Owlet baby monitor against the advice of the NICU nurses. They thought that all it would do was give false alarms and it would wake us up constantly in the middle of the night. And we decided to go ahead and get it anyway. It was worth every penny. We were so glad that we got it. Devices like the Owlet are the focus of the JAMA viewpoint. Authors specifically call out smartphone-linked wearables like smart socks, onesies, and diaper clips. The devices measure babies' biometrics like pulse rate and oxygen and send those measurements to parents' apps. In a statement, Owlet acknowledged a, quote, lack of evidence behind certain products, but said they are actively addressing and resolving these concerns. There's no evidence that they'll help kids, um, and there's some evidence of potential harm. Dr. Christopher Bonafide is a pediatrician and co-author of the JAMA Review. He says there's no way to prove their accuracy, and they can lead to false alarms and unnecessary treatments. If an alarm bell goes off at home about a low oxygen saturation, what could that lead to? They could come into the emergency room. They may end up with, uh, with blood tests, they may end up with x-rays, may end up with admissions to the hospital, missing work, increased anxiety in families, uh, and a hospital bill at the end. The American Academy of Pediatrics has also advised against the monitors, stating, quote, do not use home cardiorespiratory monitors as a strategy to reduce the risk of SIDS, one of the leading causes of infant mortality. The Baby Vita monitor is a small, comfortable device. But because the companies don't make specific medical claims, they are not regulated by the FDA. We're not saying that we're a SIDS monitor at all. You can turn the alarm function on or off. Or... Molly and Jeff Evans created the Baby Vita monitor after their twin baby girls contracted RSV, an infection that causes breathing trouble. Doctors told them to check the infant's breathing every 45 minutes. We thought, well, what happens between zero and 45 minutes, like we said, we need to do something about this. This is a little strap that fits around the baby's foot. They enlisted a team of engineers and designed a sock with sensors that monitor oxygen levels and heart rate. We um, said that if we saved one child's life um, in being able to create this product for somebody, that it was worth it. Dr. Bonafide says while he doesn't advise it, he urges parents who do choose to use them to use tried and tested recommendations for SIDS prevention. Things like always having your baby sleep on their back, using tight-fitting mattress sheets, and leaving nothing else in the crib like blankets or stuffed animals. This is an example, just if you want to see, of the Owlet device. Uh, it goes on the foot just like that. It has a sensor inside, and this is the home base station, and it also links to your smartphone. Well, you're a mom and you have a little baby at home. I do. I, I have enough stress with my video yes. monitor, yeah. um, and I think the point the doctor made is really excellent. You know, it can lead to overdiagnosis and really a lot of testing, potentially. Blood tests for an infant, that's traumatic. X-rays and anxiety for parents. So there's no real recommendation by the American Academy of Pediatrics for any of these monitoring devices. Really interesting. Thank you, Dr. Thank you. Tara Narula.